Hi there. If you're having trouble getting one of these onto one of these so that you can edit your videos on your phone, then stay tuned because you're watching Blue Collar Guy. Okay, we're back. So you want to get one of these <clears throat> on one of these. And the problem that you're having is that when you're dealing with Android, there's all kinds of apps out there that claim that they've got OTG uh, and all these other little apps that you can put on your phone. And they say, you do that, and then you have to get one of these connectors so that you can plug your uh, phone, sorry, I have to put my glasses on, so you can, pl this one here goes here like so, so you take this card and you take it and you put it in one of these little adapters and then it's got this micro USB and this cable comes out and then you've got to convert that, that regular USB into a, a USB-C that fits onto your phone. <clears throat> you plug it all in and it still doesn't work. You can't get the files off your your, your, your your card. You just want to get the files off your card onto your phone so that you can edit them. And you've gone through this whole process of downloading all these apps. So you've downloaded all these apps. A lot of them say they're free, but they're not free. They want you to buy this, buy that, or, or they're going to have commercials that are going to annoy you, or they're going to take you to these different screens that have nothing to do with the app that try to get convince you to buy things. And if you're like me, it's frustrating. And there is a lot of these little apps out there. And some of them can be even viruses. You have no idea what, what, you're, what you're putting in your phone. So anyways, I've figured it out. And I'm here to help you uh, get your information from your camera onto your phone with a lot less headache because I know that the way that I had to do it before was I'd have to put it on the cloud and then pull it from the cloud back onto my phone and then edit it. This whole process of downloading and uploading, dealing with 4K footage, you're looking at hours, not minutes, not a half an hour. You're looking at hours to do that. And you haven't even started to edit it yet. And then when you're done your editing, then you got to put it back up to YouTube. And that's not a slow, you know, that's not fast either. So, and then after you do that, then you've got to go onto your regular computer and, you know, put your tags, your end screens and all the rest of that other stuff. Hours and hours and hours. So, um, do you really want to be spending all this extra time just trying to do the editing process? I know I don't. So... Uh, and that was what I was doing before. I was going through all of this uploading and downloading and converting files and then putting them. There. And, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people get so frustrated, they go out and they buy a video editing uh, computer. They put, the, they put the card into the computer and they edit it there. And guess how much money that costs? Thousands thousands of dollars and you have to learn the software because it is not your typical software so i just wanted to edit it like i've always edited it with my vn editor pro because it is very simple software for me to use i like it is it as polished as some of the stuff that we could probably get maybe not but it is something that i can take with me and i can work on it because i have a full-time job i don't this isn't my full-time job this is just a job that I do to help people that are going through a lot of the same situations as me. And, you know, they're struggling through life and they just want to have a good life. That's it. You just want to have a good life. You don't make a lot of money, but you want to be happy. You deserve to be happy. So I want to be happy. And when I'm trying to uh, get my video, my files from a camera that I just spent over a thousand dollars with on my phone and I'm having all of that frustration, I'm not happy. And uh, now Sony does have an app called the imaging app. People say, well, why don't you use that? Well, that is more for pictures because it is, uh, these are smaller files. The minute you try to transfer video that way, 
uh, the app can crash, you can get disconnected. Uh, extremely frustrating. And if you did manage to pull video, and I have, just a two minute video can take you 15 minutes to get it from the camera through the Wi-Fi onto your phone. That is not what I want. I don't want to wait uh, 15 minutes for two minutes of video. I've got a 30 minute video that I need to put on there. Well, what is that going to take like three and a half days? I can't have that thing running on my phone for three and a half days. I need my phone for other things. So the best way to do it that I find, and I'm going to tell you after spending uh, a lot of money messing around with all these different apps is I found one app and it is called USB Media Explorer. Okay, it is designed specifically for what this is, transferring your media from your camera onto your phone with very little hassle. And I'm gonna show you a screenshot that I took of what the app looks like. So when you're looking through the Google Play Store, you can find it relatively easily. So if you uh, pause your screen there, you can look for this one. And then, of course, you still need to get the, you know, the card reader and the rest of it to, to, to hook into your phone. And don't forget to get the USB-C uh, connector so that you can plug it in the bottom of your phone. Then you just turn it on and it more or less works. Uh, you can start looking through the, you know, you click on, you have to click on a few things, of course. Uh, you know, it is not 100% user-friendly, but it works. It took me roughly... Uh, about 15, 20 minutes to download a 34 minute file onto the phone. And I would have been happy with 30 minutes even, that would have been fine, because at least I know it's getting there. And it put it right in a folder that I wanted it to go to, because I wanted it to go to where I keep my photos and my videos. And because then when I go into my VN editor, I can find them a lot easier. And bam, there you go. And uh, the frustration of that was over. And I just showed you the uh, video that I was working on and that was from the card right onto the phone. So I've actually done this. And uh, so if you uh, are having trouble with that, and I know that a lot of you are, uh, this is the video you need to watch. And I have other videos, so if you want to watch some of those, uh, they may help you with other problems that you're having if you're just a regular person and you're trying to get things done, uh, like maybe even your laundry. <laughs> so uh, keep watching because uh, um, I'll put some other uh, videos on a playlist. Uh, if you're interested in the uh, Sony ZV-E10, uh, I've got a review on that that will also be, uh, I'm going to put that on the playlist of this video as well because I'm going to talk about what I liked about the camera and what I don't like about the camera. And, uh, but uh, this is all shot on that camera. So if you really like the video quality that you're seeing right now, and you think that this video that I'm presenting to you is the more professional of what you want to get at, um, I can tell you that this is only a semi-professional setup. It is not a 100% uh, pro setup. So if you think I'm shooting this on thousands of dollars worth of gear, no, it is roughly uh, like everything with the audio equipment and everything, you're looking at, you know, about two thousand twenty-one hundred dollars uh, Canadian. So uh, you can you can roughly uh, get everything, and that's with all the gear. The camera itself is probably like a little over a thousand dollars. So, uh, but for the other videos that you're watching, the ones that you say, "Wow, that looks like a real professional setup." Uh, they're shooting with up to twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars worth of gear. Okay, if they're using a red system or black magic or uh, one of those type of cinematic systems. So if you like the look of this video and you like the look of everything that I'm doing, then uh, keep watching. And I'm also going to be doing a video in the future of how to get a professional logo and how to get animation on your uh, YouTube videos to make them look a lot better and how much you need to spend to do that. 
So uh, um, that will also be in uh, future videos, but I'm still in the processing of the creative process because I haven't got all the information yet. And uh, that's, uh, that's it. And um, take care and have a great day and uh, stay safe at work. Bye.